Hi everyone, it's Tammy and welcome to the 12 Crafts of Valentine's Day. We are going to be making a Valentine candy popper today. And to do that, you just need a piece of designer series paper is what I'm using. You could use regular cardstock or whatever. And I have it cut at five and a half inches by about six and a half inches. And the five and a half inches is the most important part of this particular project more than this because this is going to be how long your popper is but this is how it folds so this one is the more important piece of it so what I'm going to do is at an inch and a quarter I am going to score it and then I'm going to go another inch and a quarter and score it again and then another inch and a quarter score it again and then finally another inch and a quarter and score it again so um, it's leaving us with four little boxes that are an inch and a quarter and one that is half of an inch And that is all that I need my cutter or score for. But then we're also going to use the envelope punch. And both of these are available through Stampin' Up! as well. And we are going to find the one that's a half, quarter of an, half of an inch, sorry. And we are going to put some, some like tear and tape on it. This is a different brand than the tear and tape just because I ran out of my tear and tape. So I'm using this brand, but um, it's all kind of the same thing. I may put two, this is like an eighth of an inch <laughs> tear and tape. It's very thin. So I think I'm going to do two lines of it. But normally you would just need one. But this tape is like really strong. That's the reason I'm using this as opposed to just my glue gun and then what we're gonna do well let's go ahead and fold it all four one two three and four so now it's all folded and this is how it's going to look and this is what you're gonna be able to put your candies in so that's why I wanted this to be at least this big so that I can have some little candies to go inside there and then I'm going to at an inch and a half I think that sounds like a good number to me let's see how that looks maybe I'll go two inches if I went two inches in here and then if I go two inches in here it would give me it would be about from here to here if I did an inch and a half, I think I'll do the inch and a half. I think I like that better. So on the edge that doesn't have the tear and tape, so on the one of the inch and a half sides, and hopefully you can see all this, I'm just going in an inch and a half, and I'm just looking at my little thing. It's actually the half inch mark because the one is right next to this, so it looks like it's just a half inch, but it's really an inch and a half. And then I'm going to punch. And then I'm going to turn it over and at an inch and a half, I'm going to punch and then I'm going to fold it one time and at an inch and a half I'm going to punch and it's going to be a little harder to punch when you have it doubled over like this but you can still do it just put some oomph behind it if you need to stand up you can do that and then so now you have these two folds fold it in half or close to and you're going to punch this on both sides so an inch and a half Turn it over, an inch and a half, open it and then fold it again to there, same thing, an inch and a half, turn it over, an inch and a half, and then we are finally at the end, but we also want that to be punched, so I'm just folding that little tiny part in, the half inch one, 
and this one's going to be a lot harder because it also has the tear and tape that you're punching. So just be aware of that. And you're pushing that in there. It's a little harder to push into because it's thicker. Punch that. And then all of your little trash comes down at the bottom. You can just throw that away. And then you just go ahead and pull off your tear and tape. Well, you pull off the top of the tear and tape. So you reveal the sticky, I guess, of the tear and tape. Oops. There's three of on this one to remove because the punch punched it. And then all you need to do is bring this side over to this side so that it will be flat plush against it and it will create your box. I'm throwing that stuff away. So here's our little box and you want these to kind of close in and the best way I have found to do that is just to kind of push it and you can even make it go in when you're doing your little candy inside. Sometimes that's fun but I just kind of push it so that it gets a little crease and then if you also want to kind of crease the edges here it makes it a little easier it's just kind of fun so I'm just pushing all of these in and just kind of pushing it down a little bit to give it a little bit of bend where it's going to be bent isn't that cute and then you would need some twine I'm just taking a little bit of twine and I'm going to take one side You just pull it and you want to pull it a little bit taut because you don't want your candy to fall out so you want it to be a little bit you, you know clearly you want it to be where it goes in like that I guess and I'm going to tie it in a little knot and then I will tie it probably in a bow I'm thinking And then I want to leave this side open to stuff it with some candy. So let's see here. What do I have? I have these Cupid's Heart Candy. They look like little sprees. I'll take one of these. And then I have these little chocolates. put one of these in here and then I'll take one of these and I'll try to stuff that in there too the little chocolate is nice it lays flat right down there on the bottom and that's cute perfect and then I will take some more of my twine and I will tie it just like I did the other side Again, making sure that I get it kind of taunt. And then tie it in a little bow. And there we go. And I think I'm going to use a sticker or two. Well, what did I do with my stickers? Well, I know I have some Valentine stickers. Isn't that bizarre? Oh, they're maybe right here. Oh, yes, they are. They're right here with the candy. I knew I had some. <laughs> I just purchased a bunch. So let's see, let me look at them. Oh, I think I want to use these guys. And
skilt. And I'll do one more little heart. And there we go. There's our little treat. It's just a little popper. So you can still kind of see inside there and see what's in it. But I don't know. It's just fun. It's just a fun little way to present a little gift. And I think that I will put these on the people that I work with. I think I'll just put it on their desk so that they'll have a little treat. So that is it. So I need to make a few more, but yay. Thanks guys for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the 12 crafts of Chris of Valentine's Day and I've already posted some so check those out. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.